Afghan families fleeing violence and fear in their home country. They're making their way to central Virginia after the Taliban take over there. Now this comes as U.S. officials are trying to evacuate Americans and allies before the August 31st deadline. New at 5 here, we're learning many of those allies will be housed right here in our backyard. Bill Fitzgerald joins us now in the studio to explain the next steps. Bill. Leland, right now, military leaders and officials in the small town of Blackstone in Ottaway County are preparing for what could be thousands of refugees to arrive at Fort Pickett. Governor Northam confirmed that information this afternoon, and we also caught up with Blackstone Mayor Billy Colburn. He tells us initial reports show as few as 500, but up to 10,000 refugees will be on the way as early as tomorrow. Crews are right now getting ready for their arrival by putting up a tent city for the soldiers who are going to be taking care of them along with a medical unit. The mayor says these families will be sheltered here temporarily, but he's not certain for just how long. Colburn says there'll be little interaction with the greater community, especially at first, although many people, he says, have volunteered to help the refugees. We also asked Colburn if Fort Pickett can actually accommodate thousands of refugees at once. My answer is yes for this reason. Uncle Sam's in charge. Uh, Uncle Sam does things right. Now, one of the, regardless of what one feels about the mission or how the mission was executed, we do not criticize our service members. And in my opinion, we do not criticize those persons who found themselves in harm's way. And we should tell you that Billy Colburn, the mayor of Blackstone there, is the father of our reporter, Caroline Colburn. Meanwhile, Governor Northam was also asked about safety protocols for the refugees. Here's what he had to say. They're being tested for COVID. Uh, they're being offered vaccinations. Uh, and then they're being moved to either Fort Lee or, or Fort Pickett, uh, where uh, plans are made for uh, further disposition, whether they go to other states. And as you just heard, Northam said they'll also be housed at Fort Lee and Prince George, and they've already been sheltering allies and families who fled Afghanistan. About 10 percent will stay in Virginia. The remaining will eventually go to other parts of the country.